there's a lot of guys that wind up deer hunting year after year and they just aren't successful where there are some guys that every year they go out they seem to be successful and the difference between those guys is not luck i mean luck just happens every once in a while but success can be very predictable if you understand the first thing about deer and that's to understand their senses deer senses they've only got three of them and out of those three senses i want to talk about those on this video the first sense that I tell you that you need to be aware of is a deer's sense of sight. Now, for the serious hunter out there, when I say that uh, I don't think a deer's got that great of eyesight, uh, I'm saying out of all their senses, the eyesight is probably the least uh, valuable to them. And what I mean by that is deer, as a deer hunter, you have to realize that, that deer, they've got big eyes. The eyes are kind of located on the sides of their head where the deer, they see peripherally a lot of uh, more area than a human would because our eyes are on the front of our head. So as the deer's eyes are out here, they get to see a lot more vision. So what deer are looking for is movement, not so much color, but movement. And as long as the deer hunter moves very slowly, they can get away with a lot of movement. So the vision on deer, it's good, but I think you can get away with a lot of movement as long as you move real slowly. Too many times have we been in deer stands and a deer come in and you pick up your bow real slow and you draw and you put an arrow right where it's supposed to be. And you got away with all that movement because you move slowly. So that's the first thing to keep in mind. The next thing, the sense of hearing. A deer has got incredible ears. I mean, the ears are long and when you're looking at deer, you can tell if they're really paying attention to what they're hearing or not because their ears will perk up and go forward. They'll look and it's interesting to watch deer's body language. And so as you pay attention to their hearing, what I like to do is I like to hunt in areas where I can get away with maybe making some noise, whether you've got a highway or maybe you've got uh, some wind blowing. Uh, maybe uh, you're hunting next to a, a creek or a, a brook that makes some noise. Uh, those are areas that will camouflage the human noise. So we've covered the sight, we've covered the sound, and now what we're going to talk about is the most important sense to a deer, and he absolutely makes a living on his nose. A deer's nose is second to none. A deer's nose is incredible. And so uh, what you have to do as a hunter, you have to realize you better respect all the senses, but especially his nose. I'd take every precaution there is to minimize my human odor, to minimize odors that I may pick up from a gas pump or from riding in a vehicle or, or from a cup of coffee that may have spilt on me. I'm gonna do everything I can to reduce that human odor. Do I think that the human odor can be reduced entirely? I don't believe so. I think there's gonna always be just a touch of scent out there. But the deer's sense of smell is so good because their nostrils are so big. What I wind up doing is I always hunt with the wind in my face. If I go to a stand or gonna to go to a stand and the wind is not in my face, I will not hunt it because the deer, no matter what you do, no matter what I do, it seems like the deer always wins. So the deer senses, you've got the hearing and you've got the vision but then you've got the nose and if i were to take those three in that order i'd wind up taking the nose and saying that is absolutely the number one defense that a white-tailed deer has against you and if you have any questions about deer senses make sure and post them on the comment section below